What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I'm the Malt Activist, and how you doing, man? What's happening? Okay, this is a cool video, man, because I've got uh, one, two, three, three bourbons on my hand right now that are super high strength. Yes, we're talking about A, the George C. Stad, B, the larger Craig Barrel Proof, and finally, the Wild Turkey Rare Breed High Strength. Oh, and we are going to taste them blind. Are you excited? I'm excited. Let's go. All right, before I begin, a big warm welcome to my first time viewers. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Hey man, if whiskey interests you, then I promise you that this channel is the one for you, man. Uh, we have so many things going on that are whiskey related. I swear, man, you love it. So hit that subscribe button and that bell icon so we can get underway. Big up to my returning viewers. You guys are awesome. Thanks for hanging around, like always. And finally, ooh, last but not the least, my biggest thanks to my members on the YouTube channel as well as my Patreon. Well done, thank you for your support and encouragement, it means a lot. Okay, let's get to the whiskeys. Now this head to head to head is going to be super special because I have three of probably my absolute most favorite whiskeys in the whole world, starting let's say with the wild turkey rare breed this is oh this is an absolute gem of a dram this is um bottled at 58.4 percent or 116.8 uh proof uh this is uh a mix of six eight and 12 year old bourbons and this is made with a mash bill of 75 percent corn 13% rye and 12% malted barley. Yes, so uh, this is our, probably our youngest whiskey right now that we have uh, and also our cheapest whiskey, if I'm not mistaken. I think this retails for roughly 50 to $70 uh, if you look in different parts of the world, but that's a broad range. Uh, but today is not so much about price, today is about pitting one high strength bourbon against the other. So, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Turkey Corner, we have the Rare Breed. The Rare Breed coming at a very, very hefty 58.4% ABV or 116.8 .8. 8 proof. Whoa, whoa. I'm already slurring. Okay, whiskey number two. Our whiskey number two is the scrumptiously awesome Elijah Craig Small Batch Barrel Proof. This one, ooh, this one is bottled at 124.2 proof or 62.1% ABV. This is a minimum 12 years old as written on the side of the label here. And this is made at the Heaven Hill uh, Distillery. And uh, the mash bill comprises 78% corn, 10% rye, and 12% malted barley. That's right. And I've had this whiskey before and it's absolutely soul crushing in a good way. Like it just grabs you by, by, the, by the balls and just ah, squeezes and you're like, oh my God, give me more. I know, that's a weird description for a whiskey, but you know what I mean, you know what I mean. There's, where, where there's pain, there's always pleasure. Sorry, I think I'm letting you into some dark, dark secrets of mine, which I should not. Let's uh, let's keep this whiskey, guys. Let's keep this whiskey. All right, so Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, one of my favorites. Oh, and this is batch B517. B517, that means this is the second batch of the year and released in May 2017. So this is an older bottling, man. Not a very new bottling. I bought this a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago. Uh, and um, yeah, so this is bottle 2017. So yeah, got an old bottling actually. I mean, I'm lucky to have this one because I've heard from some reliable sources that uh, 2020 was the last good year for this and, uh, and after that, it's not been that great. I, 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 I can't verify that, but that's what I've heard. But the earlier batches, including the 17, hmm. There's supposed to be something special. And I hope this is what I have in my hand. Okay, so whiskey number two is the Elijah Craig. Are you guys interested in knowing what whiskey number three is? I'm sure you are. Our whiskey number three is the amazing 
George T. Stag. There's not a lot left in here because I keep drinking this baby. This is one of my favorite whiskeys in the whole world, as are my the other two favorite whiskeys also. So this one is bottled at 64.6% ABV. This are 129.2 proof. Uh, this has uh, this is a mash bill number one at the Buffalo Trace Distillery, which means low rye percentage, less than 10%. Um, what else do we know about this? This is a 2017 uh, bottling, and again, you know, uh, one of the better ones out there, uh, 2017. And this is aged for 15 years. 15 years in charred oak barrels. So yeah, three whiskeys, uh, three sort of landmark whiskeys, bourbons, if you ask me, Wild Turkey, Rare Breed, George C. Stag, and the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this, does it? So this one's gonna be super tough, man. I, I don't even know if I can pick which is the best whiskey. I mean, I'm really partial to the George C. Stag, but, the Elijah Craig Barrel Brew just blew my socks off. And there's something magical about the Wild Turkey Rare Breed at high... Oh man, this one's gonna be tough. But hey, it's a tough job and somebody's got to do it. As usual, I've poured all the whiskeys down in the glasses and thoroughly, 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 thoroughly mixed up. Corresponding stickers on the bottom of the glass as per usual. And uh, wow, I guess there's nothing left for me to do but dance. Okay, whiskey number one, I'm going to show, there you go, I can't see the label. Um, this is whiskey number one. Natural color, thank you, thank you, bourbon industry standards, natural color, non gel filtered, all of them, oh, it's just perfect. The, and cost check, the way whiskey's supposed to be made. There you go, that's what it looks like. Mmm, hmm. So much deep chocolate, burnt toast, salted caramel. <sighs> Some berries, red fruits in here as well. Nutty, overall smoky, and some some heavy jam, treacle, jam, treacle. Hint of smoke on this one as well. And some red fruits also. So yeah, I mean, very, very typical, lovely bourbon nose. Um, everything that I like about it. Uh, and uh, hey, I guess, you know, time to drink it. That's what we're here for, to drink it. Mmm. Mmm. <sighs> Whoa. <sighs> Super velvety mouthfeel. That beautiful oak and leather. The dry spices. The star anise. The, co the ground coffee beans. Ooh. So good. I mean... There's nothing I can say bad about this whiskey. Warming, long lingering finish in your mouth. Just, ah, I like this, man. I like this a lot. If the other two are better than this, damn. That means that's quite a benchmark. That's quite a high benchmark. So yes, I love this whiskey. I think this is fantastic. Um, very, very, very uh, warming, uh, obviously because of the high alcohol strength. Um, my, I'd, I don't know if I should add some water to it. No, I don't think we should add water to it. Let's just drink it the way it is and then we'll figure it out later. So for now, uh, on the leaderboard, this is whiskey number one. Okay, let's go. Here we have whiskey number two. Let's show the camera. There you go. I cannot see it in the screen. Ooh, this one is a little more floral, more sweet, a little more balanced. That one was a little more oaky, more savory, but this one is more sweeter. Again, that caramel and that chocolate, but the, here the chocolate is a little more of a milky chocolate and not so much of a dark chocolate, maybe a mixture of the two. Definitely more on the sweeter side, this one. I think I like this nose better than whiskey number one. This also seems a slightly higher strength to me. 
could be wrong, but definitely mm, the nose hair singed a bit more on this one compared to the first one. Yes, I definitely, definitely like the nose better on this one. Even though it's by a hair, but I definitely like this better because I think it's a little more balanced. This is whiskey number one, by the way. Yes, this is definitely a little more sa uh, savory. And this is, I think, a little more balanced. Okay, let's drink. Mmm. 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 <sighs> wow. Ooh. <laughs> I think I know what this one is. I feel slightly less strength on the palate because it went down so beautifully. Even on the palate, the texture, again, beautifully velvet and oily and viscous, but the flavors more balanced. Um, the sweetness uh, balancing out with the spices and the oak and working very, very nicely. Again, that uh, milky chocolate and the caramel coming through nicely, but again, with that um, uh, leather and wood shavings there in the background, not overpowering. I mean, this is good. Um, this is very, very good cask. Um, uh, not management, just uh, sort of um, um, cask control. Yes, cask control. That's the word I was looking for. Mm. Ah. I don't know. I don't know which one's better. I think this one's better. I think this one's better. Okay, so I'm going to put this one up on top and whiskey number one as my second whiskey. Whoa, this is so cool. I have no clue. And I'm so so curious right now you have no idea i really want to look under the glasses and see what i'm what i'm doing but i will not do that so okay we know you know what's on the leaderboard i don't know i hope it's a surprise at the end or uh, or otherwise it's just a boring life right if there are no surprises <laughs> let's go okay whiskey number three There you go, that's whiskey number three. Let me show you what that is. I hope you can see it. Okay. Wow, this is more floral. This is even more sweeter. Okay, let me put whiskey number one here and whiskey number two here, okay. This is even more sweeter than whiskey number two. Hmm. But this one is floral. I get more white, uh, white flowers. Like I get jasmine in here, wild flowers. And again, more on the sweeter side with the milk chocolate and the, and the sweet caramel, butterscotch, lots of vanilla in all of them, by the way. Interesting. Ah, uh, this is a nice nose. I think this is tied in second place with the nose. Um, I don't know how it does, how it does on the palate, but right now, um, whiskey number two, whiskey number, oh, sorry. The second whiskey on the leaderboard and this one are kind of tied for the nose. Let's see, let's drink. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, yes, this is whiskey number one. What a beautiful delivery, what velvet, what a velvety mouthfeel. I'm saying velvet a lot because whatever, this was like syrup, this was like chocolate syrup. And I drank that chocolate syrup and uh, it just enveloped uh, my palate, went around my tongue and it just kind of boom held it there and this explosion of flavor after flavor after flavor. Uh, um, you know, it's a, it's a caramel macchiato, it's a frappuccino, uh, it's, um, uh, it's lots and lots of uh, different types of chocolates and white chocolate and, 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 and dark chocolate and milk chocolate and lots of hazelnuts um, uh, and, uh, and some very nice uh, roasted coffee beans, but s like sweetened coffee beans if you know what I mean. Uh, and um, the oak is nice and pleasant out, you know, there in the background. Oh, this is a wonderful. 
Oh man, it's like drinking dark honey. Oof, this is absolutely beautiful. Oh wow, I absolutely love it. This is my whiskey number one. So the leaderboard now changes. <laughs> okay, this was cool, this was cool. We, we drank them in reverse, right? We drank them in reverse, which is nice. Ah, all right. Let's go. What what do we do? Okay, I think I think it's time to reveal it. Are you guys cute? Why would you be curious? You already know. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, man. So this was absolutely awesome. All three bourbons were absolutely stunning. I loved all three of them. There's maybe like a 0.1 point difference in in all three of them. They were just absolutely amazing. Each one had, had its own sort of nuanced. Uh, uh, flavor profile that it sort of worked with and ah, oh, I loved everything. I loved all three, man. But I'm really very, very curious, okay? So let's go, let's, we'll start with whiskey number three. So whiskey number three is... Oh, wow! So whiskey number three is the Wild Turkey Rare Breed. Interesting, okay, I, I thought... I thought maybe this would be in third place, and, that's, and I'm kind of right. So, well done, Wild Turkey Rare This is by no means, by no means a substandard whiskey. This is absolutely stunning, 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 and it deserves to be in the top three, if you know what I mean. So, well done, Wild Turkey Rare Breed. You are number three in a field of three, but there's no shame in that. There's no shame in that. You are amazing. Hold your head up high. Wild Turkey Red Reed. Okay, I'm super excited about this. Whiskey number two. Oh. Drum roll. White. Ah, the George D. Stag is number two. No way. No way, that's crazy. That means the Elijah Craig Barrel Proof is our number one whiskey. Yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. More gentlemen than ladies because we have no ladies watching this channel. Uh, as evident by my uh, backend analytics tool, 99.8% men watch this channel. That's right, because that's who we are. That's what we do. We are winners. Like the Elijah Craig 12 year old barrel proof uh, released in 2017 at 62.1% ABV. Well done. Hey man, you know what? I'm a little surprised. I thought maybe the George T. Stag would do better, but you know what? I'm in full agreement that the Elijah Craig Small Bass Barrel Proof is it's a stunner. Yeah, man, come on. Come on. It's drinking, drinking dark honey with all the amazing flavors that you find. This is absolutely my, my number one bourbon, high strength bourbon in the whole world. This is the whiskey to have. What an absolute gem. What an absolute gem. Yeah, I am a little surprised that it, uh, that it beat the George T. Stag out, which, just goes to show, man. So I, I got very, 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 very lucky uh, when I found my bottles of uh, the Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, the George T. Stag being one of them. And now, I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's not fair how much you have to pay for these bottles if you can find them at all. And especially in the secondhand market, it's impossible. But good to know that the Elijah Craig Small Batch Barrel Proof um, Available hopefully quite uh, quite easily around the world. Uh, I don't know what the distribution is like in Europe and US and Australia and Far East or whatever it is, but you know uh, they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they're very very good whiskeys, uh, and you know what? I'm a fan of the Heaven Hill uh, Distillery. Uh, some of my favorite whiskeys, if you can see in the back, like this, absolutely stunning Parker's Heritage. Oh man. 69.7% ABV, 139.4 proof. This is just, this is just, oh, I mean, this, if you have this, you're like, oh, I should sleep with it every night. I love this whiskey. And uh, of course we have 
over here also the Logitech 18 year old which we bought a long 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 time ago this was barreled in uh, ooh, 20 23rd February 1990 so this is a 2008 2008 bottling that I have so this bottle itself is 14 years old I don't even know how wow that's crazy man I've had this for a while wow I should drink it or sell it and buy 500 more bottles or something whatever hey man so that's it there you go man Elijah Craig barrel proof well done well done uh, to the team at Heaven Hill distillery um, I hope you wear this accolade with pride and you go home and tell your wife and kids that uh, someone out there likes what we do. And I hope that's, uh, uh, <laughs> I hope that's compensation enough. You know, I hope that's enough uh, recognition. So there you go. So thank you. Uh, thank you for joining me uh, for this uh, video. A very interesting video. I love, I love doing this one. And some of you commented on the post uh, predicting your winners. And uh, I think, uh, I think most of you got it right, especially my good friend Antonio from the Whiskey Quest. Hmm. You got it right again, my man. You got it right again. So thank you. Thank you for joining me for this lovely video. I'm the Malt Activist. Until next time. Peace.